Understanding, if only, a guide to expressing wishes in English. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating and often used English phrase, if only. This phrase is a key part of expressing wishes, regrets, and hypothetical situations in English. Whether you're a beginner or advanced learner, understanding this phrase will add depth and emotion to your English conversations. So, let's get started. If only is a phrase used to express a strong wish or a regret about something, especially something that could have been different in the past. It's about imagining a different outcome or yearning for a change. This phrase often introduces a conditional statement. For example, if only I had studied harder, I would have passed the exam. There are various ways to use if only in sentences. Let's break it down. Expressing regrets. When talking about the past, if only is often followed by a past perfect verb form. This expresses regret about something that did not happen. Example, if only I had known about the meeting, I would have attended. Wishing for the present or future. For present or future wishes, if only is followed by a past simple verb form. This might seem counterintuitive, but it's a standard English structure for hypotheticals. Example, if only I had a car, I could visit you more often. Emphasizing wishes. Sometimes, if only is used for emphasis without a following clause, especially in spoken English. Example, if only you knew. Expressing that something is very important or significant. While using if only, learners often make a few common mistakes. Let's correct these. Wrong verb tense. Remember to use the correct verb tense following if only. Overusing it. Use this phrase sparingly to keep its emotional impact. Confusing with I wish, I wish, and if only are similar but have subtle differences in tone and context. To master if only practice is key. Try creating your sentences using this phrase. Think about situations in your life, a wish, a regret, or a dream, and frame it using if only. I hope this video helps you understand and use if only effectively in English. It's a powerful phrase that can add emotion and depth to your communication. Keep practicing and don't hesitate to experiment with it in different contexts. Happy learning and see you in our next video.